actual ads, but it's still unclear what weapon was used in the attack. But this is a port that's controlled by the Russians, so it would have had to have been fired from afar. Phil Black has the story, but we warn you, some images in his report are graphic. The Russian military says it's in control of this port. That fiercely burning ship suggests otherwise. The landing vessel Orsk began exploding in the Dyansk not long after sunrise. Other boats and warships can be seen scrambling to get away from the fire as debris falls in the water around them. Ukraine says it destroyed the Orsk and the fire spread to a weapons depot. Ukraine hasn't revealed what weapons it used to carry out the attack. At Izium, fiercely fought over territory in the east. A local man inspects what's left of his city, pointing out bodies when he sees them, while shells continue to fall nearby. Russia's military says all this is in their control now. Ukraine says the fight for Izium isn't over. Driving through Mariupol is an apocalyptic experience. Bodies and debris lie on the road. Someone is shooting. The driver slams his foot down to get away. Being outside in this besieged city is dangerous. But after weeks of Russia's blockade and constant bombardment, people in Mariupol have no choice but to line up outside for food. <gasps> this video from Kharkiv proves the risk. It's the panicked aftermath of a Russian strike on a parking lot where people were also waiting for aid. The region's governor says six people were killed. And this tour is through what remains of Chernihiv in the country's north. The city's mayor is driving. He says complete carnage has been unleashed here. Civilians across Ukraine's towns and cities are documenting their devastated communities because they want people everywhere to see and understand. Bill Black, CNN, Lviv, Ukraine.